Hey, here's a quick little video on the heat bed on the CR10 S5 and it does have a strain relief in the heat bed cables leaving the heat bed so you don't need to add anything on that <clears throat> right now I have the heat bed set at 50 Celsius it's reading 49 by the time it comes through the glass let's uh, take a center reading time it comes through the glass you're at almost 47 Celsius in the dead center so you know that uh, heat bed that's under there only really comes out to these four inner screws basically so let's get out to this edge here down about 38 so about seven degrees Celsius cooler 41 about six Celsius cooler 44, 3, 38. Now if you get outside the heating element, like I say, you know it stops here, the very edge of it. You get outside it and through the glass. 31, 33, 32, <clears throat> so the very edges of this 500 millimeter build plate could be, well, I guess it could be as much as uh, 10 degrees Celsius cooler than the main printing area part of it. Now part of this will have to do with the temperature of the room that you're in too, because the room is cooling the glass and cooling, cooling the uh, aluminum bed. In my case, the room is fairly cool if you're in the Fahrenheit world. It's only 59 degrees in here. If you're in the Celsius world, then I guess it has you at about 16.4 Celsius. It's a little bit cool, so all that cold air is, of course, drawing that down. If you had your machine in a normal room or house where the temperature is 70 or 72 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever that is, Celsius, <clears throat> the edges would probably be much closer to the temperature of the center of the bed because it'd be less cooling going on but uh, the machine is too big to be in the house so it's got to be out here in my workshop which I normally do not heat um, right now I run a little heater if I want to heat it up really quickly to print a part or if I'm running a part 24 hours a day then I usually use this just a little bit safer of a heater there's less things that can go wrong with that but I've also found that uh, once the machine has been running for an hour or two it tends to heat this little room that I'm in right here. This room isn't very big. It's maybe 10 by 10 and uh, it'll keep the room at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit which again is I don't know what around 17 Celsius or something whatever that equates out to. Uh, what else do I want to touch on? Oh so far I've been having really good luck with the glue stick on the glass. No lifting, no warping with that but just in case that hadn't worked I went ahead and ordered off of eBay all the inexpensive uh, you know build tech ripoff type things and I got a, enough of them in the right size that I could put four on here for example they came in a group of five so I'd have an extra so I could apply those to the glass and, and make myself a build tack type surface to print on which is basically the material I've printed on in the last two three years really love this stuff but since I'm not having any problems with the glue stick and glue stick so inexpensive I'm just going to keep using glue stick for now if I start having a problem then I've got these little puppies and I'll stick them on there and be done with it I kinda hate to add one more layer I've already got your glass which uh, as we can tell even from a dead center reading because right now we're running well it just went down to 49 but it just said 50 we had 50 Celsius in dead center bed through the glass 46.2 a minute ago we had 46.9 so 47 so already lose you know like three degrees Celsius or so just going through the glass of course you got to factor in the uh, accuracy of these things and the accuracy of the thermosistors and all that crap so who knows what we're really losing but uh, the validity of the test showing the hot spots and the cool spots are of course true so if you're not really filling the entire print bed with your print, then definitely 
stay within these uh, four screws. I guess I'd do about the size of the 400 millimeter by 400 millimeter print size rather than the 500. Okay, that's uh, about it.